Greetings, Multiverse! I am here with... I don't believe this. I went out for a couple of hours to watch Ghostbusters Afterlife, which I very much enjoyed. And then Warner Brothers goes and drops a new game with DC Comics characters that I have actually been looking forward to. I don't believe this. I go up for a little bit, a little bit, and they drop a flipping trailer for a new DC Comics game. Of course. But okay, I'm, I'm fresh for this. I haven't seen this. I know it's for Multiversus, the well, Warner Smash Brothers. That's what it is. I know exactly what I'm going to see, but I'm still very excited for it. And I'm going to check it out right now. Yes. Go. Oh. I'm Tony, the game director and co-founder here at Player First Games. Not San Diego. Here today to give you a first look at our new game, Multiverses. Name's right though. Ah, oh, and free to play. Two years Batman, ago, Metal, we had a question. Can we create a platform fighter that embodies everything we love about the genre, removes <sighs> the pain points, and brings in some new ideas? Hardly there. Multiverses emphasizes teamwork and social play with an ever-expanding, diverse cast of characters uh, uh, that you know and love. That's the same screenshot. This is our take on the competitive platform fighter. Cooperative, <laughs> deep combat mechanics across multiple platforms and free to play. <laughs> I've no idea who that friends. was. And that's a point oh, yeah. we emphasize across our modes, especially in 2v2. Every character Voices do. Moves that focus on Voices play. confirmed. Whether that's a smoke bomb from Batman to cover your team's movement. <laughs> Steven shielding Kevin Conroy. That was Kevin Conroy. Saving someone with a lasso of tree. <laughs> or using Bugs Bunny's tunnel. I love the animation. The better your chances are to win. You're under my protection. We built the game from the ground up for teamwork and co-op yeah. to deliver a more unique experience and we think players will enjoy. Okay, joke yeah, in the background for those there. of us who like to play solo, don't worry, we support that too. Get a wolf of House Stark is not afraid. Oh, it's Arya! I didn't recognize her! Has some of the most recognizable characters. So bring them to life with as close to one to one representation as possible. I'm a scare the with an acme of worlds. <laughs> the music and more is you important. You raby That's why iconic voice talent powers many of our characters. Awesome. Kevin Conroy as Batman. I am Batman. Yeah! In fact, we think you'll recognize a lot of them. Bet you didn't know about my dancing powers. John DiMaggio. My thinks I have anger issues. Let's <laughs> see what you think. Get rid of the sword. We're excited to show you our takes on characters from Tom and Jerry <laughs> to Arya Stark. Not today. To. Wait, dude. I got all kinds of tough guy lungs. Shaggy. Yes. yes. Each fighter in multiverses is unique, and we'll have a but range of customizations a sandwich. available for all of them. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm gonna eat so many Scooby Snacks. <laughs> multiverses supports crossplay and yes. progression, so you can focus on what's important, who you'll play with, on what platform you want. Who is that? That also means guilds and more social features. Okay, sounds good. Challenge other guilds with yours, and see who's really ready for a fight. We'll have leaderboards and other ways to prove who's the best. Remember the That's last cool. time you DC'd from a match? What about lag affecting your inputs? Us too. Multiverse's goal what is that thing? class online. We're investing a lot into making the most responsive gameplay and netcode. And there's no Rick and Morty yet. Dedicated servers from day one for the life of the game. Dedicated service. Oh, that's good. That is good. That is really good our and surprising. Multiverses is that anyone, anything is possible. We'll serve our community with regular updates, including new characters, <laughs> modes, skins, yes. perks, and events throughout the year for you and your friends. I'm gonna have to examine. Oh, oh, oh! The best game it can be. So whether you want <laughs> oh to freeze your foes at once or compete in esports, you'll have a home. Here. I like that. Batman versus Superman. Let's settle this once and for all. That's our first look <laughs> Who was that Superman? We've got more iconic characters and features to reveal. Sign up at multiverses.com for a chance to participate in our upcoming playtests. We want to hear your feedback. I'm doing that. Oh. That's all. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Broken a sweat. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. I'm going to do that. There you go, that's what I had to zoom in. I thought I was looking at the small images. I wasn't looking at the bigger picture there. Black Lantern Superman. <laughs> and it's that energy, super, well, solar powered Superman right in the middle. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I am excited for this. There's a lot here that feels like it's doing right. It will all come down to the controls, definitely. That's what, what will sync this or make it. Also, I'm not sure. Is it only two players? Is it only. Uh, two person parties um, and I can't imagine it will stay that way <laughs> a lot 
done very right there. Like, uh, perks, their dedicated servers, cross-play, free-to-play, constant building the characters, different skins. I mean, I can't imagine Gandalf, who wasn't there? <laughs> I can't imagine Gandalf will have many skins, but Superman, Batman, etc. Batman the Animated Series skin, that looks really, really cool, and they could easily do movie ones as well. I'm going to quickly look at the, the photo roster that they briefly showed. Yeah, now that roster is very different to the one that we saw leaked. Um, it does make me wonder if they're having some sort of little bit of rights issues. We've still got that weird weird sort of elk Pokemon thing next to between Shaggy and Steven universe um, but still an interesting um, start of a fighter roster all these characters we saw in motion Arya Stark in there is a really notable one considering is Game of Thrones completely owned by Warner Brothers? All the rest of them are Steven Universe I'm not sure about but all the rest of them are, and are cartoon characters to an extent. But Arya Stark really opens up possibilities there for not just yeah, Gandalf, but Harry Potter and yeah, all the rest of the live-action franchises. I didn't even recognise her. I thought it was Aloy from Horizon Zero Dawn for a little while. I thought, nah, that can't be right. I was waiting for them to confirm it. But yeah, Arya Stark from Game of Thrones as, is one of the first fighters. Presumably there'll be more, but also I didn't expect this to be revealed today. <laughs> I'm I'm very excited for this. I'm very helpful. I expect this to be the VGAs. I expect that they, um, they started teasing this last night. I was about to do a video about how they just started teasing it. I did not expect them to drop it this afternoon or this morning for, for US folk. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's barely even, what? Nine o'clock in the morning for the US? Uh, and they've dropped this already? Okay, fine. Maybe they couldn't get in the VGAs or something like that. And it does give me hope that we might actually get some Gotham Knights stuff at some point. Just randomly dropped out of nowhere. But uh, great. I'm I'm excited for this. I'm doing that playtest. <laughs> well, I'm trying to get into that playtest. Uh, but it will live or die on its controls and how much they can update... Uh, how much they can do, how much they can make free to play and persuade people to carry on playing. The dedicated servers bit is important. Now, yeah, quick general history lesson about every single online game ever. They go away. That happens, especially when you're talking <laughs> Warner Brothers. I mean, yeah, Batman Arkham Origins had a great multiplayer mode, but because it was tied to Arkham Origins and they didn't want to keep on updating it, it just went away. If that had been what, like a free to play thing and yeah, carried on going, maybe. But then again, they shut down Infinite Crisis and things like that. So Warner Brothers don't have a great track record uh, for that type of thing. But adding dedicated servers means this game will live forever because the, the dedicated servers PC crowd will keep on playing it. Anyone who wants to, anyone who's invested in it, will just keep on, keep on playing it and probably modding it if it's the PC version and it's not officially online anymore, so you could have like an infinite amount of characters potentially coming out of it. And they, they mod Smash Brothers, <laughs> and that's not even on PC. So this is this is really cool. But again, it will live or die on its controls, on how well it is to actually fight the, these things. But everything I'm, I'm seeing is very good news, and free to play means that everyone's going to play it. And like the Nickelodeon one, I don't know how that's doing right now. Uh, but a lot of people were excited about that. But this means that everyone's going to be playing it. Everyone who's vaguely interested can just install it and go ahead. And that's that's great. That's great. For, and for a Smash Brothers fighter, that's unprecedented. Well, okay, it's not unprecedented. Uh, the several ones, but uh, ones with loads of licensed characters, that's unprecedented. And the fact it's got all the voice actors involved. <laughs> Kevin Conroy is Batman. Brilliant. Well done. But still, I'm... Yeah, I am absolutely excited for this. It's not Injustice 3, but it will do for now. But this does sort of almost put pay to Injustice 3. I have to say that right now. This is a fighting game with DC Comics characters coming out 2022. Do you really think Warner Brothers have, <laughs> have another fighting game with DC Comics characters coming out in 2022? Because I don't think so. I'll be... 
happy to be proven wrong by Warner Brothers. I'm happy that for them to. It's going to be a very Injustice Three will be a very very different fighting game to this. Very very different. But at the very least, the solo mode, the story mode, will be awesome in Injustice Three. We know that much. But are, would they do that at the same time? I don't think they would. I really don't think they would. So I think, honestly, this is the nail in the coffin for Injustice Three for now. And that will probably upset a few people. <laughs> but nonetheless, I am excited. I love Smash Brothers. I don't get to play it enough. It's too expensive for a start. A free-to-play Smash Brothers on PC with DC Comics characters in it. I'm going to play all day long. Literally. Literally. But what do you guys think? Are you excited for this news? Are you surprised that it's revealed now? Is there anything in there you particularly liked? I, lo I loved when Bugs Bunny was hit out and he said, that's all, folks, on the side of the screen. That's clever. That's attention to detail. That's exactly what the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition does not have. This is an example of they've got attention to detail. They actually clearly like the licenses. And the animation was good as well. This feels like it's got some care put into it. Well done, player first games. I, I'm, I'm very impressed by what I saw there. It, just little bits, but it made it feel like they knew what they were doing. But yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below or on the Inside the Multiverse Discord server, which you'll find a link to in the description below, which is the Discord server for a podcast I run, participate in, <laughs> Uh, with various other co-ops, including Taladia Plays. The most recent episode just went up, and we will probably have another episode this weekend, as we just had a DC Comics game that I forget the name of just announced. Please like, share, and subscribe. That all really helps me out, as always. And check out other videos on DC Comics Gamer. I have one for this, for Multiversus, where I detailed the entire leaked fighter roster. Not just these ones, but also the ones still to come, because there's going to be a lot lot more characters coming. There are a lot of characters that they have not revealed in this trailer that were in the initial leaks. So yeah, check that out. You can find that out at the top of the screen or at the end of the video very most likely if I don't put an Injustice 3 one there. But yeah, thanks for watching folks and for now, Multiverse Us, out.